CQ, CQ, this is W9GFO. Is anybody out there? None of the people need to see what I've seen. They need to see... This is the way it's been done for billions of years. The small moves are... The name of this series is Survival. Ironically, I have cheats on so that I don't have to just do Survival. But we're going to be doing a lot of stuff, so. Oh! There are times that I'm going to want to put stuff in this world. I better make sure I'm on game mode. G A M E M O D E. Zero. Oh, goody, chickens. I kind of know where I am. Yeah, the same structures there. Look at that. See that? It changes a little bit every time I play this seed. Because I always change the seed just a little bit. But, yeah, wow. I should go explore that, but I have other things to do. It did give me a torch, right? Yep. Oh, you know what? Last time I played this seed, I can't, okay, last time I played this seed, I did not, yike, I did not put a chest up here, and that was a problem because when I would die and respawn, I wouldn't have anything up here I could use, but now I know sort of where my spawn is, I spawn in vaguely the same area, and this pass right here is vaguely the same. So, I live in a small town, 1,200 people. It's right on the main interstate highway that goes all the way across the continental United States from the east coast to the west coast, which is about 3,000 miles, American miles. I don't know what that is in meters bad person. I never learned the metric system. I'm not a bad person. It's just that there's so much stuff to know and to do and stuff and things get lost and, you know, and one of the things that got lost in my education was the metric system numbers are hard for me anyway. Did I get credit for that? Why I don't get credit? I did inventory. I didn't punch wood. Now I have to make another flipping crafting table. I always do that. Oops. All right, so I sort of know this terrain. Other people punch trees, not me, man. Yeah, that cave thing is still there. What? Wow, it's really similar. Okay, cool. I have to go punch a tree, obviously. I'm just going to punch my way over there. You know what? I may get lucky. One time when I played this world, um, I found pumpkins. Yes. Not every time I played this world. So I'm gonna need flowers to keep the pumpkins from doing stupid things. Pumpkins right away. How do you like that? So this series is really about real in real life survival. All right. Not just the game. I think that's the main reason why a lot of kids are really drawn to this game. Because a lot of people who play this game um, live in relatively urban or suburban areas. Hey, rabbits. They uh, don't grow their own food. Chicken comes from the supermarket, not from a chicken. You know? So, for a lot of people, especially young people, it's really cool to come out here and, you know, test your smarts and learn to take good care of yourself and really survive. I should cut down a tree, huh? Yeah, you should, because tree. You're not going to get the, oh, you're not going to get the credit for the, why I know has, okay. You're not going to get the credit for the crafting table until you do it right. Should have punched the wood first. So, 
that's a new. Nah, I'm just tired. You know one thing I think I'm gonna do? This tree can despawn and I well I might as well start another tree. I'm gonna start my timer, which I should have done in the first place. So once I cut down this tree and let it start to decay, excuse me if I pause. Okay, I've set the did I just throw seeds in the air? I think I ooh. What have we here? How strange. Look at this odd hole. It's dirt all the way down, but it's just an odd hole. Ooh, apple. Love me some apple. I should try to play UHC, you know that? Now that I have a graphics card, I was tempted to try to play Amplified on this Granny Gamer 1 seed, but... Mm, you know, I don't really like all those mountains. It just makes it hard to get around and easy to fall and, you know. I mean, it looks really super duper dynamic, la -dee da but I'm not sure it's the best idea. Now, just about every time I do this, I go back over to that hole over yonder to get started because, obviously, it's a really good place because iron and coal and, you know, I might as well make another crafting table while I'm thinking about it. Let's see, that's acacia wood. I don't want it for acacia wood, so, because it'll just mess up my inventory. There, now I've got it. Now, make sticks, which should go here. I hope that's a rabbit and not something that's going to blow up. It's... Where is it? How you doing, leaves? Yeah, it's a rabbit. Rabbits are creepy. Everything's creepy. Well, chickens not so much anymore, but now that they don't knock you down ravines and stuff. Chickens used to scare the snot out of me. So I think this game is... One of the reasons kids like it so much is because it's an old way of human life where you just have to figure things out and fly by the seat of your pants and try not to get killed by everything walking by. You're just a naked human out in the wilderness and everything wants you dead or wants to eat you or takes pleasure in your suffering or, you know. What's that? You know what? I'm going to take that. Just because they're so dang pretty. Oh my gosh, look what's over here. Oh. Well, that's getting... Well, I'm not going in there yet. Um, as a matter of fact, maybe... Um, I will wait till I have armor. I'm going to go back over to that safer place. I can remember where it is. I suppose you wonder why I'm cutting down these flowers. It keeps your pumpkins from growing weird. So in this series, I hope I can answer some questions. Tell you a little bit about my life. Um, I think my life is a lot different than a lot of the people around me. Not because I'm trying to be peculiar or weird, but it's just the way... Ooh, sugar cane. It's just the way things worked out and... Tell you how I deal with the fact that my life is different than what's expected of most Americans and how I handle it and sometimes don't because I'm just a person and everybody makes mistakes and challenges are challenges right you don't always do them right challenges are challenges right you don't always do them right Now, where's the river? Uh-oh. Did I lose the river? Oh, more flowers. I don't have to have all the flowers. I don't have all the pumpkins. Here's the river, I think. Yep, here's the river. Now I have to find the hole. Ooh, I love those. I mean, wow. Ooh, I didn't know there was lava. Wait, there wasn't lava. What? There wasn't lava the last time I did this. Okay, well, here's the river. 
Now, I think I came from that way. Pretty sure. So there should be a hole. There should be several holes here, depending on how differently the train generated from the last time I played this seed. I do a lot of experiments on Granny Gamer 1, and um, it usually involves different... Yeah, I think I need to be... Whoop. Hey, what's that? Oh, it's just trees. Um, yeah, different versions of the game, trying out different options. I think I even did a little Let's Play or something from Granny Gamer 1. Don't quite remember. Because I think people are, um, not being very helpful to young people these days because they're not giving them good information. And maybe, maybe I know some things that could be useful in that regard. Um, that a lot of people... I mean, if I had kids, it would be my kids' age. Um, maybe people my age forgot to tell younger people some stuff that could be useful. I'm in trouble. I better get my act. Things are following. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I'm just going to stand here and get things. I want that string. Give me that string. String, string, string. Would you pick up that string and then die with it? Whoop! Okay, well, I gotta go back. So this small town I'm in... It would not have been my choice to live here. I came here because... I had goats and chickens. And I needed a safe place for them to live where it was legal for them to live so I wouldn't get in trouble with city people for hiding chickens and goats in the backyard. You know what I mean? They were very small goats. They are called pygmy goats. And they were my best friends. And I loved them very much and still do. Um, so I wanted to keep them safe. And there was a person that lives out here who um, had lots of room and presumably could let me um, live here with my animals and even has a job where she took care of animals. So I thought we'd be pretty good out here. If I go across this, it'll take them time to follow me. And if the skeleton doesn't kill me... Uh-oh. Okay, it's going to take a while to catch up. So I can organize my inventory and get this down here. Mm -hmm. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. I really don't have any food either, so that's silly. So mainly, I'm just going to run around all night and try not to die. There's plenty of chickens in this world, so... Look! I swear that wasn't in the other version of this. Oh, we're going down there, people. And this, also, I should tell you that what I plan to do with this is every time there's an update in the game that's stable. Um, not some weird, testy, outfit-y, we don't know what we're doing, but we're pretending. I died again? Okay. <coughs> Holy guacamole, look at you guys. Are there more of you now? Things are really trying to kill me. Oh, I have to go this way. I think. I'll switch over to 1.9 when it's 1.9 time. And you know what I mean. I'm not looking forward to 1.9. I think their eyes are bigger than their stomachs. You know what I mean? I think they're trying to do too much. And I think it's going to end badly. I think it's going to require a lot, a lot, a lot of modifications because I think it's going to be real glitchy, real glitchy. We're going to be playing with both hands now. We can hold things in our left hand, that sort of stuff. And I think it's going to cause some serious problems. But we'll see. 
They might get it right the first time. So in this small town, certain things happen. And I'm surprised, well, I'm not really that surprised, I guess, to say that I see a lot of the same things happening in the um, Minecraft community as I see happening in this small town. Um, there's a lot of gossip, for instance. Now, I don't put down gossip because gossip is a very important tool when you don't have science and when you don't have journalism and when you don't know how to think skeptically and verify facts and stuff science is a very important tool because I mean gossip is a very important tool because it's one of the only ways you have to keep track of what's going on in everybody's lives and human beings in in general don't live in isolation I do mostly I mean, I mean I depend on the water utility for my water even though it comes out of a garden hose and not out of a tap and isn't heated and stuff. Um, I depend on um, people for electricity, the electric co-op. Um, I depend on people for my internet, my phone company. So it's not like I, I'm just like, I don't grind my own electricity and stuff. You know what I mean? Um, so it's not like I'm completely, completely alone. But I mean, I don't have any in real life friends or family anywhere near me. So that makes my life a lot different than a lot of other people's. Okay, I think. I think it's time to do some stuff. What do you think? It's way past time to do some stuff because I keep getting killed. Okay, I have two crafting tables. You think I could put one down? They're coming. Uh, I have sticks, but I can't find them. Yes, there we go. Nope, that's not what I thought it was. So there are some things I know about survival that maybe some other people don't know. I mean, other people that are like on the internet and playing this game. And it occurs to me there are some things that are just pretty universal to human beings about survival and that maybe just maybe um, adults are skipping a step and thinking they don't have to teach stuff to kids that they really should, should be teaching about how to stay alive on the planet because they know how to do it or they think they do I don't know I listen to a lot of adults who don't seem to really know what they're doing um but I think we make a lot of assumptions that um kids know how things are and don't ever bother to explain to kids how they are and maybe that has a lot to do with the fact that adults have forgotten how things are when you can go to the store and buy your food instead of farming it yourself when you can go to the store and buy your clothes instead of making them yourself. When you can go to the store and buy a house. That sort of thing. Then maybe you don't know how to survive. And maybe you've forgotten some important information that you ought to have. Alright, I've only got 34 seconds left and I've got a burning zombie out there. So maybe I should make sure to kill it. Because I would like to... Um, credit for it you know after all that dying don't you think I deserve monster hunter and also the sword um, thingy oh god shut up where are you there you are oh it's daytime Did it kill chickens? Look at all the eggs. Okay, my timer's going off. Um, so really I'm out of time. How many chicken meats do I have now? I don't feel bad about the chickens dying. I only have two chicken meats. Hmm. Well, I know where there's 
stuff. So I'm going to turn this video off, and that's the end of episode one. Then we'll go over there and do that stuff. Okay. Thanks for watching. I'd hug you, but my arms don't bend. Survival. I will kill you. Like, dislike, share, comment, subscribe, and adopt. Get it.